Hello everybody, Mr. Storm here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Hearts of Iron 4. In the last episode, our efforts in Europe have kind of ground to a bit of a stalemate. Uh, where we, you know, can kind of advance in certain areas, but then we get immediately pushed back. And so, we're going to have to kind of rethink things a little bit here. So that's what we're going to be working on today. And so... One of the other issues I noticed after the episode was that these armies up here, which are the armies that are in that kind of bulge right there in the line, were basically disappearing. They were starting to, you know, die off, burn out of troops. So I had to, you know, I've reinforced them uh, with divisions from other armies from some of the reserve armies that really aren't doing anything right now so I got troops moving in I have advanced time a little bit here to kind of work on that I've also gone in and um, readjusted all the fronts most of the fronts and I deleted all of the you know the assault plans and taken all of my armies off of aggressive because I think that the that the point where we can kind of brute force this on aggressive is kind of past, and so we're gonna have to kind of take more of a balanced approach here as we try and hold them off and hopefully push. I also do have some plans that I'd like to see if I can do. See if we can break break some stalemate here. But first things first, we need to reset up our offensives and run through everybody, make sure that everybody is doing what they should be doing and that they're not on aggressive and then we'll go ahead and see how we're doing. And hopefully that some of like these divisions that are basically empty can recover a little bit if we can avoid some combat for a little while all right so let's start with these guys all right so for these troops what I'd really like them to do is kind of focus on a push to there, right? To try to push that out. That would be nice to do. Now again, hopefully their commanders will wait until the divisions are ready. Okay, so that's you, that's you. Alright, so then this army, that's also in here as well. They they are also... ...badly depleted. I'm just going to have to keep an eye on them because we may have to replace more divisions as things go. Or move entire new armies into here if I have to. Okay. So what are the mountain infantry doing? Nothing right now. Okay, that's fine. Uh, these marines over here... You guys are playing defense, I think. You're just trying to hold that line. These super heavy tanks. What front are you guys on? If I were to delete your orders... The 
the one of the issues here is that uh, we're not actually making any super heavy tanks. Well, actually, we are now. But uh, for a while, like all of these factories are broken, so we weren't actually making any new ones. All right, but you guys, let's see. I want you to kind of concentrate yourselves on that front and just try to push push there. Okay? Go for it. These marines. Um I don't want them there anymore. I'm going to redeploy these marines into Scandinavia. I'm kind of just put them over here for the time being. Just get them in the area. Alright, so this army, which you guys are there on this, this segment of the front. What I want you guys to do is to push kind of there. Anybody on that segment is going to go for that that offensive. I want to try and push this down. Push this down if we can. Alright, so you guys are actually up here. Let's see, where are you located? Okay. So they're reinforcing this. So they are going to be on this offensive with the others. Well, that is a very badly depleted army of armor. Well, the divisions that remain there are actually doing okay, so... I'll tell them to kind of focus there. Go for it. Okay, now this front... What I'd really like you guys to do... is try and take Munich and Trieste. Okay, so these guys get on this assault. Alright, where are these guys located? They are over here. Okay. So they're going to kind of be on that... Munich effort. All right, now these guys are on this front, which their effort is going to be kind of to push from the south for those same targets. Okay, now these guys... ...are over here. There we are. Same thing here. Right, these guys are up here. So they're going to be on this effort. All 
Same with these troops. On that effort. Alright, so this army... Here on that southern flank... You guys are on this kind of middle assault. Alright, these guys are... A small reserve army at the moment. And these guys are a fresh army that's moved into that front. Alright, go ahead and participate. I think that covers everybody in this entire theater. Alright, the North American theater. This is just a matter of holding. Hopefully just kind of press this back out, which we're working on. This is weird. I don't know what happened there, but uh, we lost a whole bunch of divisions there. The ones that are currently left, well, two of them are really badly depleted. So if you guys are doing anything, I'm going to tell you to stop and take you off aggressive. Alright, so these armies are over here. They're all occupied. The South American Theater, they're all occupied as well. The Asian Theater, you guys are reserves. You guys are also reserves. Reserves, reserves. More reserves. And these guys are the ones that are, like, defending certain areas. These guys are in Africa. Those guys are in Africa. Those guys are in Africa. They are on defense. They are on defense. They are on defense. Okay. I don't think anything is going to happen in the Pacific, but just in case it does... All right, let's go ahead and unpause it, and let's see what happens. All right, let's see. Where do we have air superiority? I, I'm still, I'm still going to try and bomb the check, the check offensive. All right. Bomb out these flanks. Keep trying to put pressure on there. Hope that we can get some, some progress to continue. But without exhausting my troops. Looks like those guys are leaving. Well... That was a mistake. Allow me to widen that gap a little bit. Give me a little bit more breathing room. And... Hmm... hmm, hmm. 
there really isn't a lot of things that I can do as far as the air war is concerned. So I'm pouring as many planes as I've got and can get into there. things looking here. Well, we're on the offensive. Hopefully we can push them back. Now, how are things doing down here? Things are actually doing fairly well down here, to some extent. The divisions need some rest. The problem is the supply down here is bad. Well, because it's been blown up quite a bit. Uh, let's see, what what zone is this? Wadden Oasis. We have so much stuff that needs to be repaired. Almost wish there was a search function. Let's see, do we have it in here? Another thing that would actually be nice here is a prioritization feature. Allowing you to prioritize the reconstruction or repairs of certain types of things over others. Or prioritize construction, new construction over repairs, or prioritize repairs over new construction. That sort of thing would be nice. We may not have enough control over this area to be able to, uh... To have... There we go. What an oasis. Get that repaired. Because these guys are fine. These guys are not. And that is a lot of enemy troops. Let's nuke them. Let's nuke these guys too. Why not? You know what? 
those are enemy troops that um, are not in Europe. So, there's that. Okay. Now my secret plan. Where are you? Oh, you got a long way to go. And these marines are kind of too important over here to take off that line. Now, in naval combat, things are not great either. Put in all the shipyards for repairs. We have lots of ships that need repairs. And I have put out as many ships as I can. But it does look like it might be... ...worth... ...getting more lines. light cruisers and destroyers going. Get more of those built. We have the resources. I don't have the manpower though. <laughs> that's the that's the issue. I can't really advance and I can't really use my bombs to kind of push it. Alright, well, we're making more headway here. They have left a gap. Oh! Oh, that is bad news for these guys. Cover that airfield again. All right, green numbers. I like green numbers. I like green numbers when they're pointing at the enemy. That's even better. Oh, well, that's a potential problem for them. Let's hit them with some nukes. Yeah. 
See if we can take advantage. Because if we could get these guys cut off, that's another big pile of troops. Right, can I keep those guys pinned down there? Let's keep hitting them. Ah, I got reinforcements in there. Try and get the encirclement anywhere where I can. Looks like we got it. They have retreated. And they're retreating the wrong way. Very good. Very good. Ha <laughs> ha. Gotcha. Destroy those divisions. Alright, they surrendered. Very good. Ah, we have been able to push this back out a little bit. How are we doing? How are we doing? We're looking a little bit better here. A little bit. But we still have decent numbers there. It's not like we're down like half strength, so. Alright. This is looking good. And we finally taking the last bits of Kiev territory. Which that is now all gone. And we're working over Italy. How does Africa look? Like it probably needs a few more bombs. Good deal. Alright, these guys are almost where I want them. In fact, we'll go ahead and set up what the plan is going to be. Large ships on low strength. Well, yeah, that's going to happen. Is we are going to do a naval invasion. I hope. Into Scotland. I want to see if we can get a successful invasion of England. And if we can, that'll hopefully distract enemy troops. Open up another front. 
Because if we could can successfully absorb the British Isles, that'll be a major blow to the enemy. I will need some reinforcement troops that I need to bring up there from somewhere. I'll have to figure out what I want to do, but i got a little while yet before that is going to be a thing that is going to happen, because... One of the things I have to figure out is how I'm going to gain control of the sea zones. Because the Baltic fleet is, like, really, really badly damaged. And most of its patrol groups are gone. Wiped out. So, um... Hmm. I might have to bring patrol groups over from the Pacific Fleet. Because that's... They're kind of, um... Not really doing anything right now, so... Or maybe I'll have to bring the submarines that are down over here. Well, see, the thing is, if I start moving those, we're going to have naval invasions down there. Well, that's, that's the one... That is the one issue. Though we are gaining control of the Mediterranean. To some extent. What I might have to do is just send out fleets of light cruisers and hope for the best. Well, so it depends on how many troops England actually has back at home, how many troops they have committed to the front. We still haven't been able to push this back much. Well, if these guys get to their goal, they'll hold up, and then we'll see if we can't drive the rest down. We're getting very close to Trieste. Now, can you guys actually hit there? Saw some overruns. Oh yeah, we're gonna take Trieste. Or we can if I nuke it. Probably don't need to, but you know, I will anyway. Got it. All right. So I think we are at the end of the episode. I think we're at the end of the episode. These guys are kind of disappointing me over here. Oh, we got a gap in the line. We got to fix that. All right. Well, I'll take care of that off screen. But for now, we'll go ahead and stun end the episode here. And then when we come back, we'll see if we can't make any more progress. I don't like that happening there. I might have to bring in more reinforcements. I'll have to see. All right. But for now, we'll stop here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.